What is up and welcome back to the vlog. So as you guys saw in the Bandamere video, I got myself a new color, which if you look at it in the right sun, it is red. If you look at it differently, it is black. This color is awesome. Um, I did it myself on the fender and it's not the per not the most perfect. You can probably see some imperfections right here, but the color looks really good. I'm planning on doing not the entire car. I've got a design in mind, but I need to keep practicing and I didn't order enough to do the whole car yet because I wanted to just test the color out. So now I'm gonna do the gas door, I'm gonna do my mirror, I'm gonna fix my other mirror, maybe try uh, one of the door, door handles. We'll kind of see how it goes. But so for now, I'll just enjoy the time lapse of uh, me wrapping my door. So before, so before I get started, I want you guys to know, by no means am I a professional rapper. So take this video by granted. Just uh, want to show you guys how I kind of figured out how to do it on the uh, front fender and how I'm going to do it on this one. So this one doesn't have the uh, top protective layer, just has like the peeled back. So I'm just going to start by peeling the back. If I can get it to peel. And once I get peeled back, you just lay it flat. If you need heat, you have a heat gun. But hopefully it doesn't peel on itself, right? Throw that down. Take your uh, squeegee. So it did come out pretty good other than you can kind of see the line in there um, a little bit on this side bottom came out pretty mint but overall there's no creases there's no bubbles once we get out into the sunlight you guys will really see it looks fantastic once out in the sun um, it's got like a little bit of a metallic into it so super good stuff I got it from vinyl frog and uh, so far it has been awesome hopefully uh, once it starts taking over more of the car i uh, appreciate it more and more it's just hard to see the white go but then again i'm excited to see the white go so we're just gonna slowly keep wrapping and uh see uh see what we can make this thing look like so i think i'm just gonna turn this into a wrapping vlog so let's get started with this mirror so the hard thing is i don't want to take it all the way apart but this uh can't even really see it so this gap right here it's really hard to cut it with it not looking super uh, ragged. So I'm gonna try something. So I've got these tucking tools that I bought with Vinyl Frog. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can, you know, like really tuck it down into this corner with the heat gun and stuff, and then try to see if I can cut it along that inner line. Um, I'm not the best at this because I haven't done very much of it. So let's just kind of see how it goes. All right, so I'll start with um, alcohol or ISO. Propyl. I mean, that's basically alcohol, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we just want to start with a nice and very clean surface because we don't want anything to stick underneath of it. And so I've already kind of cut this wrap down to size. Ooh. I've already kind of wrap, cut this wrap down to size. So it's going to fit nice and tight. And then we just got the peeler backing off of it again. Like I said, this one doesn't have a, uh, a front protective, so all we gotta do is worry about peeling the back off of it. Um, and then one of the things that I did kind of notice with this wrap, 
there was some slight imperfections that came with it which is okay because i know i mean i'm not spending super high amounts of money on this wrap so i didn't expect it to be like the absolute best but just know that there is some imperfections with this wrap if you were looking for something completely perfect um there you might notice some stuff on this one so i just gotta start smoothing it away Heat is going to be your best friend. So just know this is the slowest part of the process is trying to Trying to keep your wrap smooth the whole time. Like this is by far the hardest part of the whole thing. Especially when it's a curved surface like this. Let me, uh, let me fight these wrinkles real quick up top so I can show you how it's supposed to look like. Just so you guys know, mirrors are extremely hard to wrap unless you have like that really cool tool that like stretches it over them. So I've got creases in this one. I've got a bad bubble right there that I try to get out. Got a, some just random spots on it. Now I'm gonna try to cut it and uh, see how good it looks. But just know they're not easy to wrap whatsoever just because of all the curve on it and stuff. And uh, the other side is I don't know what I'm doing. so. Oh well. So unfortunately, it does not look good. Um, like I said, mirrors are extremely hard to wrap because it's not a flat surface like that. So I've got these little creases here. I've got the tucking is really bad because uh, it's really hard to uh, cut this the way it lines up. Um, so the hood scoop I know is going to be an absolute pain to wrap. So that's why I'm not planning on wrapping it wrapping it planning on wrapping it i'm planning on doing a carbon fiber hood scoop i'm possibly planning on getting rid of these mirrors and just doing like just carbon mirrors or something we'll see my grill pieces there's a three-piece kit that i found that's going to replace all this broken um broken grill piece and then on top of that it's also going to be carbon um so i'm just trying to add a little bit of accents of color so it's not all just like the red or all just white um so i got some plans for it but super stoked how the gas cap turned out um there's not a lot of stretching on it but the mirror just because you have to heat it up to stretch it there is some stretch marks that you can see and i don't know if it's just the wrap quality that i have uh, i've heard some good stuff about vinyl frog or if it's just because i don't know how to wrap so it's, uh, it's going to be a long process, I know that. Come on guys, you know I couldn't leave this unattended up front. Boom. There we go. Now it looks, now it looks like it's coming together, but here's that color. Boom. It's a good looking color guys. So my design is to stop and meet somewhere here in the middle. Um, there's some cool drift cars. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of it online and put it up right here. But basically I'm gonna like do like a zigzag on this side 
zigzag somewhere over here and make it look like it's it's like falling apart or like stretching apart or whatnot so i do for sure need to do these rear door handles so i'm just working at getting these out getting that bolt out see if i can pop this door panel off and then see how hard it is to remove that door handle i've never tried to do it but i don't think it's it i don't think it's gonna be that difficult so i'm just gonna do this real quick and see what it's about so i already got these clips off at the bottom now i just have to uh get this clip open up here get that screw out door panels are never hard to take off it's uh once you get past the door handle or door panel what's on the uh back side of it so it should be pretty close to popping off now oh i might there might be a bolt under here break this but it should just pop yeah, it should just pop back I've never taken these door panels off before, so I don't exactly know what stops these ones. It's almost like these come apart like a bunch of individual pieces. So this part's, let me look it up real quick. So I was able to get the door panel off. Um, it still has all the plastic on there, so it hasn't been touched. And I don't have like the glue to reseal the plastic. So I didn't really want to dig too far into it today. I want to wait until I can put this car kind of undercover, like in a garage or something, so I can tear everything apart and don't have to worry about it for a couple days. But with it being outside all the time, I'm just a little worried about leaving it apart, something breaking, not being able to put it all back together. So we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, there might be a little bit more in this video, I'm not too sure, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little time-lapse of some of the wrapping portions. Um, sorry, I'm not the best wrapper, but we're trying and that's all that matters. That is gonna be the end of the video. They are uh, doing some work in my neighborhood. So I have the BMW in the driveway and I have my work truck. So they are uh, just milling the road. So I have my car parked at work. Um, not only because I can't really park all my cars in the street right now, but also just because I am on call this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the wrapping stuff. Uh, hope we have a, another fun video for you guys next week enjoy the car is slowly coming together and once i can uh find some spare money to start throwing at that and the bmw there's gonna be a lot more how-to videos and installing stuff because i plan to get quite a bit of new parts for both vehicles so just stay tuned for a lot of fun if you guys do want to donate and help the channel in my bio like on my main page of youtube i do have my venmo uh like i said you guys don't have to you guys don't have to support anything like that if you don't want to um just all that does help but just watching the video and supporting me is enough help for all you guys that are subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. All you guys that aren't, what are you guys waiting for? But with that note, I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.